Chapter 3, Superstorm. Blizzards are common in Canada and North Central United States. They often visit Northern Europe and Russia, and they are right at home on mountains and in polar regions, but people in warm climates aren't totally safe. In 1993, a blizzard known as Superstorm stretched from Vermont to Florida. 60,000 flashes of lightning hit the ground. Tornadoes spun out of the clouds. Few blizzards have lightning and tornadoes. About 270 people died in Superstorm. Many deaths were in southern states such as Florida. There, people were less prepared to cope with a blizzard. Why do killer blizzards form? In 1888, people had no idea. Minnie and her class didn't know what hit them. How could the temperature drop 50 degrees in just a few hours? Why did the wind grow so fierce? Weather scientists have found some of the answers. In winter, Arctic air masses sweep into the United States from Canada. They can travel as fast as a speeding car. At the same time, warm air masses enter the United States from the south. They are bursting with moisture. What happens when the two air masses crash? Instant winter storm, cold, wind, and snow. The temperature drops as the Arctic air pushes the warm air out of the way. Cold and warm air swirl around each other. The lighter warm air may roll over the heavy cold air. The cold air may push the warm air from below. We feel this moving, shoving, swirling air as wind. As the wet warm air cools off, the clouds shrink. The process is similar to squeezing a wet sponge. Shrunken clouds can't hold as much moisture, so snowflakes or ice crystals fall out of them. After a blizzard, the wind stops. The temperatures may rise. Only the snow remains to cause more life-threatening problems. Stay tuned for the last chapter, chapter four.